Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about I Love Lucy. I'm so excited to bring you this video because it's a topic that I'm really excited to bring to you because I've discovered something really, really cool. Before I get to the topic, I do want to let you know that I'm giving away a free DVD set of I Love Lucy Season 4. It's all the episodes, many of the episodes that I'll be talking about in this video the winner will be getting in that DVD set. It's absolutely free, it's super easy to participate, and it's a great way to support a channel like mine so that we can promote classic shows like this and then I can bring you more content very often. Make sure to watch the entire video to see how you can win. Now in today's video, as I mentioned, I'm gonna be talking about I Love Lucy, but more specifically about the Pontiac. Yes, the amazing, in my opinion, this is the object, or this is the thing that most people remember when they think of I Love Lucy. Yes, we can say the chocolates. Yes, we can say the bottle of vitamin of Benjamin, but no, the actual car with the four in there, the Ricardos and the Mertzes singing California, Here We Come, is probably the most iconic image in all of television history people would probably agree with me some may disagree but you gotta admit it is pretty iconic but my thoughts were it just dawned on me where is that car is it still around is it uh completely abandoned in a junkyard somewhere well i did my due diligence i did my research and i'm here to tell you what happened to that automobile, the exact one, the very one that we had Desi Arnaz, Lucille Ball, Vivian Vance, and Bill Frawley sit in and make that amazing piece of television history. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the episodes where this Pontiac appeared. Of course, when the Ricardos and Mertzes were gonna to go to California so that Ricky could film his movie, they decided that they needed some sort of transportation. So they bought a car, that is the Ricardos bought a car, and we finally get to see it in the episode, Lucy Learns to Drive. This is all from season four in a very comedic episode where Ricky teaches Lucy to drive and we do see the amazing Pontiac make its appearance. Later on in California, here we come, they load up the Pontiac pretty much to the brim because they're trying to take as many things as possible from New York to California. Then as they make the road trip from one part of the country to the other we see many different episodes like first stop that's the one where we start to see a little bit of progress being made in this road trip they make their way through ohio and they're so hungry they want to stop somewhere and they do stop in that little ricky old restaurant with the kind of the cabins in the background they stay that's their little hotel and we see the train well we don't see the train we see the Ricardos and Mertes in that little small cabin and their bed switches from one side to the other. You know that episode. They try to escape at night because it's just a terror to be there. And Fred calls it, are we here again? Are we here in Lower Slobovia? One of the best moments, in my opinion, of the episode. One of the best one-liners. They continue on with Tennessee Bound where they get locked in a Tennessee jail for speeding and we do get to see the car as well. Ethel's hometown, we briefly get to see it in the beginning, and then finally in LA at last. That's the culmination of us seeing the Pontiac. It's pretty much the last time we see it officially, that is. It's mentioned in many other episodes. But yeah, that is it, and it's such an iconic car. I do wanna talk a little bit about coloring before I get to the final whereabouts, because I am focusing this video on the car in general. Now, because the show was filmed in black and white, we do see the coloring here. We do see a darker upper tone. This is called a two-tone paint scheme. We have a darker upper tone and a lighter one at the bottom. Many people ask, well, what was the color of this? And this is where the challenge begins. I'll show this screenshot to you. This is the actual colorized version of this episode. What makes it difficult is that a lot of it is computerized and so the colors are estimated depending on different algorithms or so forth. So it's not 100% correct. Some of the colors are off. But if we look, we do see the color here. It's kind of a, we can even see kind of a bluish green, almost like a teal kind of color. That's um, and the two different shades of it, one darker, one lighter. That's what the episode presents to us. But later you're gonna see how that's a little bit different. I also want to put this color palette on here because I want to do my own estimation, just kind of taking these are the colors and we're going to change them to black and white. And that's what these colors do 
when they are made in black and white. So we can kind of compare what shade they are. And this is my estimation of what the color would be. Now the darker color does look more like a bluish or at least in the blue range or that is in that dark side. I actually thought it was more of a red because red do red does appear fairly dark when we put it in the black and white scheme, but the color spectrum doesn't really show it here. But we'll have to really consider this into the next portion of this video. Now the last thing I do want to say about this color scheme, this is my best estimation or my guess, that is my professional guess based on just the color spectrum. It's really hard because no one's really alive from that time who actually saw the car at the time who can verify or even kind of confirm the colors to us. So again, this is a best guess. Now let's move on to what happened to the car to this very day. If we fast forward these decades, where is the car? Well, this is the car right now, the actual car in color as we can see it. It's really, really interesting to see because you may think, well, no, Rick, that's what these colors are. The top part, the two-tone was white, and then the bottom was that darker silver. However, you will know this is incorrect. This was a restoration. How do I know that? Well, because the top part, when we go to the black and white, is darker. And white appears white when you see it in black and white. It doesn't appear as dark as that. So obviously, there was a color tone switch. Now, why would this be? Well, it could have been a personal choice of the person who owned it. They wanted to do that. Or maybe they were trying to emulate what we saw on screen, which was the actual black and white. The only problem is maybe they weren't exactly familiar with the show. They made a little bit of a mistake and they switched it. So that is they should have put the darker silver on top of the two-tone and the bottom portion of it should have been the lighter side didn't come out that way. But if you can really see, it is really, really cool to see it. Now, it did sell at an auction. It's actually the most popular auction pretty much in the United States. Sometimes you can even say in the world, the Barrett Jackson Auto Auctions. They have so many different cars. There are a lot of really expensive cars, classic cars, expensive. It's all there. And they did sell this car. Now, this took place in 2015 at the Barrett Jackson auction in Scottsdale, Arizona. They had record-breaking sales that day and there was so many people that attended because this was a type of charity auction that they hosted. It was a Ron Pratt collection and so much of basically his collection was sold and there are many different famous cars there. I won't put them all up here, but I know you all wanna know how much the I Love Lucy car sold for. Well, I would love for you to pause the video. Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know your guess without cheating, without going ahead, how much you think this car sold for. Well, I'm gonna reveal it here. In 2015, it sold for $220,000, the original I Love Lucy car in full restored condition. Now, it was officially the 1955 Pontiac Star Chief Convertible. That is the name of the model. And so forth, if you ever want to look it up, and I'll put these pictures for you. But I think it's super amazing, guys and gals, to kind of track the history of this automobile. It was sold, of course, to a private seller, someone who probably doesn't want to say who bought it and so forth. It's in their collection. But it would be nice to maybe just see where the car is in the final, like who know, who is the person who owns the I Love Lucy car and maybe driving it around somewhere, or maybe keeping it really cherry inside a garage, never to have it see the light of day. I would love to know who, if you know the person or if maybe you're watching this and you actually own this, reach out to me. I would love to connect, would love to see if, wow, we can, just do a little bit of a special on this car. I think it would be amazing. Thank you so much for watching this. Let me know your favorite episode that this car appeared in and what this car meant to you in regards to the show. I'd love to know down below. Now, if you wanna win the I Love Lucy DVD giveaway, the season four set, all the episodes from season four, as I mentioned, it's absolutely free. You don't have to give any money or anything like that. All you have to do is first be a subscriber to the channel. So make sure to hit that red subscribe button. If you've already been subscribed before, you don't have to do it again. Remember, it's free to do so. You also have to hit the like button in this video. That is the thumbs up button, as well as leave a comment down below. Now the code word in your comment has to be, as long as you put that anywhere in your comment and you comment whatever you'd like, you are eligible to win 
the uh, DVD set. And the final thing you must do is fill out just your quick contact information so that I can contact you when I choose the winner and send the DVD to you as soon as possible. We'll see you next time, guys and gals. Thank you so much for supporting. And most importantly, be hopeful. Thank you so much to all the supporters I have on Patreon, especially my diamond tier patrons. Vito L, Tommy G, Ricky, David D, Citizen Kane, Sally N, and Grace U. If you want to find more exclusive content, visit my Patreon page. Links in the description.